welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lisa, and I love to do videos on luxury handbags, shoes, ready to wear. I like to do some styling videos, and I do those things from the perspective of someone who is in the middle of her life, as well as someone who is mid-sized. So if that sounds interesting, click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So today we have a little luxury haul. So I've been sort of accumulating these things over, oh, probably the last three, four weeks or so. So we have an item from Louis Vuitton. We have many items from Bergdorf's, some of which I perhaps should not have purchased, but we'll get into that and it's okay. And then the final two items, you won't be able to tell this from the box, <laughs> but it is from Tiffany. So there are two items in here. I recently made a stop at Tiffany and maybe I'll throw, there's just a tiny bit of vlog footage from it. So maybe I'll just like throw it in here and show you before I open these, but I'll get into specifics on why it's in this pack. Anyway, we'll get into it, but let's get started. So let's start with the very heavy, but small, Bergdorf Goodman bag here. So you will see in an upcoming vlog that I met a wonderful new friend named Heather, who I met through Instagram and we had lunch and then went shopping together and that will be part of a shopping vlog. But one of the places we went was Bergdorf because they were having a like buy so much get so much off in the beauty department and so we went and looked and i tried some different things but i was still kind of in the decision making process and so i took some samples home which the sales associate her name is anna she was fantastic and tried them out and then went back to purchase some of these items now as you can see she put in like a million samples in here. So let's kind of go through those first. A bunch of these samples are from Frederick Mall. If you're not familiar with Frederick Mall, it is a fragrance company. I believe they are now owned by Estee Lauder, but originally it was owned, the brand was Frederick Mall, owned by Frederick, anyway. So let's see, we have two samples from, it's called Uncut Gem. And again, I apologize, this is gonna be backwards for you, but those are from, by Maurice Roussel is the perfumer. And then we have, let's see, two also called Musk Ravageur, I think, also by Maurice Roussel is the perfumer, or the nose as they would call it. And then two of Carnal Flower. So actually, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Heather actually bought Carnal Flower. And this one is by Dominique Ropion, which I believe is the perfumer behind the fragrance, at least one of the fragrances that I'm going to show you. Yes, spoiler alert, I bought two. So if you haven't seen my what I don't intend to buy in 2023, I'll link it up above here. But um, let's just be honest, one of those things was fragrance because I have a lot of it and just felt like, you know, I needed to kind of scale back. But ugh, these were too beautiful to pass up. And I had just, one of these I had been wanting for a really long time. And then the other one was one that Anna recommended and tried it and just loved it. It'll be great for spring, summer. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, let's get into some of the rest of these samples really quick. This is from a 111 Skin. It's an eye cream. So we'll give that a try. We also have some retinol eye serum from Natura Bisse. It's called the Diamond Life Infusion Retinol Eye Serum. And she also gave me, oh, some Victoria Beckham. I found out when I was there, I didn't realize this, that they carry a Victoria Beckham at Bergdorf Goodman. So how exciting is that when they come out with new eyeliners? This is the Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. So that is another sample from Victoria Beckham. Uh, this is another one. She made me a sample of this because it wasn't like one of these that are pre-made. And this is by Vetiver. And I've actually used this a couple of times and really, really like it. Um, I would say that pretty much 
all Frederick Mall fragrances are unisex. I would definitely say that Vetiver is. In fact, she kind of recommended it for my husband, but I was like, you know what? Actually, I really like that. So I've been using that. Might be a new purchase. There are several that I have on my radar. Um, what else is in here? Goodness. Uh, oh, that's my receipt. One of them. Uh, this is the, oh, this, I forgot about this. These were some really pretty samples of some Gucci lip products. So some really good shades in there that I will try. And I think, wait, oh, there's my other receipt. I'll explain that in a second. This is some diamond, same Natura Bisset Diamond Extreme Cream. So I think this is like a moisturizer. Those, those eye serums and I think I think we have exhausted the samples all right so let's start out with the first fragrance and this was the one that I didn't know anything about I hadn't done any research on it or anything and then when I was there with Heather and her sister she was there too uh, was one that we tried at the counter and then one that she sent a sample home with me to try in addition to the other one that I bought that you'll see in a second. So this fragrance is called Eau de Magnolia and it looks like that. That's what their packaging looks like. And this one is actually, this perfumer is Carlos Banaim, B-E-N-A-I with an umlaut over it, M. So German, I assume. And you take that, slide that off. You've got this packaging and it opens like so. And all of the Frederick Mall bottles look like this. So that's what that looks like. So this is the smaller, this is the 50 ml version. That's what I decided to get in this particular fragrance. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful floral obviously Magnolia fragrance. So because I liked it so much and I tend to really like to layer my fragrances. Oh God, I'm smelling that now and it's so good. I really like if they have a shower gel and like body lotion to be able to purchase that too. So let's see, this one is, okay, so this is the shower gel or the Eau de Magnolia. Unfortunately, she was out of these items. She was definitely out of this in the other fragrance that I purchased. And the other fragrance that I purchased actually doesn't come in a lotion. It comes in a body cream, which I actually didn't really love. But I did get the actual lotion again in the Eau de Magnolia. So I have both the shower gel and the lotion and the fragrance in Eau de Magnolia. So very, very excited about that. So they were running a promotion that if you bought $400, you got $100 off. If you spent $250, you got $50 off. If you spent $400, you got $100 off. And then I think it bumped maybe to 1000 and you got $250 off. Maybe 275, 275 maybe, I think that's right. So anyway, I didn't have enough. I was gonna buy some other things so that I got to the thousand and got the 250 or 275 off, but they didn't have those other things. So what I did is I split these purchases into two like $400 purchases so that I got $100 off of each of them. So in total, I know for sure, well, this one says it. So the other perfume I got, which I'll show you in a second, was 420 and then I got $100 off of that. Okay, so the shower gel was originally $70. The um, lotion was originally $90. And the perfume was originally $220. So that's for those three. So then the other fragrance that I got, like I said, was one that I have been researching and thinking about for a while, but I've never had the opportunity to smell it because nobody in the Kansas City area carried it. I don't like to do blind buys if I can avoid it, 
And so I was really glad that I was able to try this and then try it out for a couple days before I made the purchase. So what I got is Portrait of a Lady. And as you can see, I got the larger size. So this is the 100 ml bottle. And this is just, if, if you watch any reviews on this fragrance, people will call it a masterpiece. And as far as fragrance goes, it truly is a masterpiece of a fragrance. It is just, you know, chef's kiss, whatever you want to call it, that's what this fragrance is. So it really, and I'm going to wear this today. So um, yeah, I didn't purposely didn't put any fragrance on so that I could put this on. So as you can see, like I said, I did get the larger bottle. So this is again, the 100 ml. And that's what the bottle looks like. This is um, also by Dominique Ropion, very famous perfumer. So let's prime it there. One tip for fragrance is spray it on your clothing because it really lasts a long time that way. And also she had a great tip for me. So I choose all of David's fragrances because I have a very strong sense of smell and he doesn't. And so, I, and he's fine with me choosing it because he just, he wants to wear things that he knows that I like. But there are a lot of times where I will smell a fragrance and buy it for him or get a tester or something of it for him that I love in the store, but then when he puts it on, I don't like it. So there's there is just something with his body chemistry that that fragrance doesn't like, you know, just doesn't gel with. So what she recommended, she's like, well, just have him spray it on his clothing, like not on his skin. And then it won't be affected by his body chemistry, but I will still like the smell. I'm like, that's genius. So yeah. Pro tip out there, not for me, but from Anna. <laughs> if you don't like something necessarily on your skin, try just spraying it on your clothes. But regardless, even if you do like it on your skin, spray it on your clothes too, because it will last for so long. So FYI, if you're wondering, Lisa, where are you filming today? <laughs> I'm filming actually in what is going to be our living room. The screens that you see behind me are actually partitioning off where Nick's room is going to be but obviously the walls haven't been built yet because hmm, we still haven't been able to start construction. Don't get me started. But anyway, so I thought because David is traveling this week and next week, I would take advantage of being able to sit out here where maybe it's a little more aesthetically pleasing. I mean, you know, at least I have an Hermes blanket behind me. So anyway, that explains the little bit difference of where I am. So let's do, the Louis Vuitton piece next. So this item I actually bought again on that shopping day when I was vlogging with Heather and we went into Bloomingdale's. We did a lot of shopping that day. We went to Bergdorf's, we went to Fendi, we went to Bloomingdale's. And when we went in, I, I'm trying to remember if, pause please. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know where I left off. I had to go take a package down to DHL that was being picked up. Anyway, I think I was telling you that we went to Bloomingdale's and we were walking by the Louis Vuitton boutique and I don't even I don't even know what the conversation was about, but I mentioned an item that I didn't have in my collection that I've been thinking about for a long time. And I was like, she's like, well, let's go in and see if they have it. Because a lot of times they don't have this particular and you'll see when I open it, but a lot of times they don't have this item in store when you're looking. It's off, often sold out online. Spoiler alert, obviously it's a canvas piece. So yeah. Anyway, so little box. Here's the receipt. And it looks like that. I'm very excited to start using this. And I'll explain why I got it. In addition to always being interested in it, I thought given my current lifestyle in particular, it would be a useful item. Again, this could be perceived as something that I told myself I didn't really want to be buying in 2023. But again, this one I think is a little, a little different. I'm, I'm not 
you guys, I'm not trying to let myself off the hook. The fragrances, clearly that was in violation if we're using those words <laughs> in what I said in my video. This one, like I said, I don't know that I would say that this one is in violation because I think in one of my other videos I mentioned to me, it's really about card holders, like specifically like the Chanel snap card holders that I really, really like. Maybe even the flat card holders might be part of that too, but really more the, the flap or snap card holders are my downfall. And I will be honest, I do have one like that I've requested from the new 23S. But anyway, let's let's get back into this. So, pull that out. Little tiny dust bag. To reveal the very cliche clay. I thought that was kind of cute, cliche clay. So, if some of you are unfamiliar with this particular item from Louis Vuitton, I know it doesn't look like much, but honestly, it does a lot. So it's called the clay, which means key in French. And so it's just a little pouch, as you can see, and it's got a zipper at the top. And then when you open it inside, it does have some cards and a skew. <laughs> but what it really has inside is this key keeper thing. And the way this works, FYI, is that you pull this up here. So you pull this up and then out. Does that make sense? So anyway, the reason why I got this piece is because in some of my smaller handbags, carrying my six ring key holder and a card holder can sometimes be a little tight, especially if I'm just like running out you know, maybe I'm going to the grocery store or something and I just really all I need is like my driver's license, my debit card, my, you know, house key, and that's it. And now that we don't have cars, I don't have as many keys. Like the only, I only really have two keys right now. I have the door to our condo, co-op, whatever you want to call it, and a mailbox key. Like that's it. So I thought, you know what, this would be great because I can just put those two on here, keep it in here. I can throw some cards in here. I can throw some cash in here if I want to. So I can even take, for example, what's in my Bastia and put it all in here. And it's just all nice and slim. It's just, it's, you know, as you can see, a really slim profile. It's very small. And I thought this could be a really useful item in my collections. Yeah, um, these are now, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, whatever, anyway. My point is buy them when you can because they go up in price. These are now at $325. I remember I bought one as a gift for somebody back in 20, oh gosh, what was that? Maybe 2015, 2016, and it was $200. So anyway, live and learn, but that's what I got from Louis Vuitton. Hey guys, I am in Soho and kind of an impromptu thing. I found out that Nordstrom is having like a pop-up with Tiffany and co. So I'm on my way to, I was down in the meatpacking district, so this was the closest Tiffany. So I'm going to look at some jewelry, so I will show you there. And also we'll do a little stop in at Fendi because there are some earrings there that I want to look at as well. So anyway, just thought I would share where I am and take you along. said are from Tiffany. Now, maybe, I don't know, I've never ordered anything from Tiffany online, and this is not from Tiffany online, so I don't know what the packaging would look like if I ordered something from Tiffany online, but you will have seen that I went into the Tiffany boutique in Soho because Nordstrom and Tiffany were having like a pop-up in maybe San Diego? 
something, well, these were shipped from San Diego, so I don't know if that's where it was. But anyway, this is why you guys need to be a part of some of these Facebook groups. So I am part of a group that is a non-selling group. It's, it's completely, there is no personal selling on this group whatsoever. It is, its true purpose is to help people find items from, it was started, I should say, to help people find items from Chanel without having to pay resellers or, you know, consignment, people who are buying things and reselling them and jacking up the prices. It was to help people find things at boutiques that maybe they didn't have an essay at that boutique when it was available, things like that. So people post pictures from their sales associates from all over the country and, you know, say, hey, my sales associate has these 10 items with pictures, you know, DM me if you're interested with your name and your phone number and I'll put you in contact with my sales associate, that kind of thing. And it's an amazing, amazing group of people who it just, you're able to network with all these people and find items that then if you didn't get it at your boutique, you may then have to result to going to a reseller and paying 10, 20% over above retail price in order to get that item. So that's how this group started. But in addition to that, they've also kind of gotten into, you know, announcing different things, even if it's related to different brands. And one of the things I saw on there was that Nordstrom was doing this sort of pop-up with Tiffany. And so she's like, you know, hey, if you need some information or whatever, reach out to me. So I did because my Nordstrom sales associate who used to be in Nashville at that Chanel moved to California and then ended up switching from Nordstrom to Neiman. So he's not even with Nordstrom anymore. So the bottom line is I don't have a Nordstrom sales associate anymore. And so she hooked me up with hers and um, he's in Atlanta, I believe. And so he was able to get me these items. And so once again, people, instead of buying at Tiffany, which would have been fine, but because I bought it through Nordstrom, I get my Nordstrom points. And because they were doing this as like a special pop-up thing, they were doing triple points, which means I got nine points for every dollar I spent, which means right after this was rung up, I got an email notification that said, hey, you have $100 in Nordstrom notes. So I got $100 for what I purchased here that I can use on future purchases that I would never have gotten if I had bought it directly from the Tiffany Boutique. So let's get into these items because I think I saw one of these in person. I can't even remember what I looked at. I looked at so many things. Oh my gosh, that lock bracelet. Ugh! to die for it. You'll see pictures of that if I put that vlog footage in. Anyway, absolutely stunning. And you know, if I had a spare $14,000 laying around, that would have been on my wrist right now. Or I actually would have purchased it through here and we would be opening it right now. But anyway, I don't know that I try, I know, I know for sure I didn't try one of these items at all because I don't think they had it at that Soho boutique. Anyway, so let's get into it. All right, so that is what it looks like. And it does say Tiffany & Co. You're not probably able to see that white sticker. Oh, it does have Tiffany & Co. on the box in there. And then, like I said, it has Tiffany & Co. on the sticker there. And let me just open this up. And there are two Tiffany boxes. So I have no idea which one's which. I honestly don't even remember what the second item is that I ordered. That's really sad. Okay, well, let's just go for it. So let's see what's in this first one. Like I said, one I remember, one I don't, and I have no idea which is, oh, actually, no, it doesn't say it on the bottom. That's the Nordstrom, like if you have to return sticker. So box looks like that. And inside is a little Tiffany blue dust bag. And this talks about the, it's a care card, how to take care of your items. So I got this little blue pouch, so cute. And this one is, oh, so this one I saw, I believe. So this is the, this is part of the hardware line. And this is the pendant in sterling silver. Oh, it's so cool, you guys. I just, I really love it. Isn't that pretty? Now, I think I may end up taking this and getting it extended. Let's see. Too bad. Oh, well, 
I'm not exactly wearing the best neckline for this because I'm wearing like a, a boat neck kind of thing, but that's where it hangs. I might have it like extended by like maybe an inch just so it hangs more like here. Just, you know, especially if I'm wearing like this kind of neckline, it may end up like falling behind. But anyway, yeah. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Such a pretty, and I love the hardware line. I loved the earrings that, I didn't get the earrings, just FYI. Let's open the second one. So I do know what this one is because like I said, this is the one that I remembered that I bought. I, like I said, I was going like, deciding between a couple of different items. And so that's why I couldn't really remember what the, I couldn't honestly remember if I got the earrings or if I got the necklace. So anyway, now this is not part of the hardware line. This is part of a different line. And this item I did not try on. So we will have to see whether this fits. I may either need to swap it out or, you know, exchange it. So anyway, again, another pouch, another care card. And in here is, so this is the, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Now I don't even remember. It is the T, I think it's the T line. Is that what it's called? And it comes, they come in like different thicknesses and you know, some come, especially in the gold, you can get them with diamonds, you can get them plain, you can get them with like thinner tees or thicker tees. So I think this one was kind of the, sort of the middle one. So let's try this on, let's see if this fits. Cause like I said, I did not, oh yeah, fits perfectly. So that is what it, oh, I love that. In fact, I think I'm going to, since I'm wearing silver today, I will wear this ring. Oh, I love that. So that is, like I said, part of the, I think it's called the tea collection. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'll put the exact name up on the screen and how much everything was. Um, I want to say the necklace was like around 650, maybe something like that. And the ring was maybe like 450, something like that. I'll put all the information up on the screen, but oh. Love that. Very, very happy with that. And it fits perfectly. Yeah. Like it's just like a perfect size. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Yay. Everything is a winner here today. So yay. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like the items that I unboxed. I'm certainly very pleased with them. I just, oh, so happy with this. Been looking for a new, I don't really have a lot of silver pendants so and I've been wearing it seems like a lot more silver lately silver toned so anyway very excited about all of my huh, purchases <laughs> but anyway thanks again thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up it does really help the algorithm and again if you haven't subscribed and you like it you know stick around with us hit the subscribe button down below and wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.